Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Chairman. A hearty good evening is extended to each and every one of you. It's a real pleasure to see you out in your numbers. I want to acknowledge, recognize, and salute the presence of our dear political leader, Dr. the Honorable Keith Christopher Rowley, Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, son of the soil, and a dear Mason Hallian. I want to recognize our Tobago political leader, Mr. Ansel Dennis. I want to recognize Mr. Kelvon Morris. I wanted to say one is enough. <laughs> Thank you for your hard work and your commitment. I want to salute also my sister in service, Mrs. Ayanna Webster Roy. <laughs> All the other party members of the executive, brothers and sisters of the PNM, those who are tuned in, listening through social media, TTT, I-95, the People's National Movement is on the move again. I'm always delighted to see you come out in your numbers, even on a Sunday evening. It's a beautiful evening indeed. The PNM is on the move. Down, but not out, minding our business, and slowly making progress. Your presence this evening, brothers and sisters, represents commitment, perseverance, dedication, sacrifice, consciousness, courage, self-awareness, and most importantly, hope. They are still right thinking Tobagonians in Tobago. People who are not afraid to identify wrong as wrong and right as right. And patriots who are committed to standing tall on honesty and integrity doing the hard work to restore in order, making sure that we have a sense of pride and purpose and developing decency towards the upliftment of Tobagonians, the resuscitation of the Tobago economy, and the preservation of all that is good in Tobago as it relates to our values and our dignity. We are the People's National Movement. We know who we are where we stand and what we represent in and out of government we remain steadfast in our commitment to fulfilling our mandate to maximizing the full potential of all our resources in the nation to strengthening the economy improving the standard of life for all Trinbegonians and extending to our citizens unbridled access to an avalanche of opportunities building a brighter future for all the children making our country prosperous and resilient. All of that is we, a rally for all, whether you like us or not, whether you support us or not, we are the PNM, the same PNM of Dr. The Honorable Eric Williams, the same PNM of the hardworking and compassionate George Chambers, the same PNM of the visionary Patrick Manning, and the same PNM of the hard-working man of service and proper representation, Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley. It is we, the PNM, who brought our country out of the hands of the colonizers to the heights of independence. And it's important that we repeat these things because something else is being told to our children and something else is being told to you to cause you to question yourselves. And we have to remember who we are and from whence we came and what we represent. We are the PNM who fought to become a democratic republic and establish full control of our own parliament. We developed a sturdy foundation and created all the national institutions, a template for the rest of the Caribbean region. We are the PNM who engineered projects and programs to improve the quality of life for all people of every creed and race and political affiliation. Strong foundation we stand on, we are the PNM. Free schooling from early childhood to primary, secondary, tertiary education, free transportation for students and seniors, free textbooks, free school feeding free program. We are the PNM. Complementary quality primary health care system, extensive social support through public assistance, disability grant, pension, home construction and refurbishment grants. All that is we people's national movement, we took the bold step to introduce industrialization to the country, a mighty manufacturing sector, 
facil we facilitated the development of our local financial institution and the list goes on public utilities companies we subsidized and supported agriculture from decade to decade provided incentives for the private sector to boost development in our country 67 years long 67 years strong solid as a rock standing on a firm foundation that is our story that is all legacy and no amount of bad talking bad mind and spin doctoring can take that from us at any time of history you choose any period and you will see the pnm has always stood and still stands for progress productivity and opportunities for each and everybody whether you vote or not because there are some of them who say i don't mix up in politics it's not supported by my faith but they are the first ones accessing self-help and social assistance and they're the first ones to open the gate that is we we are the pnm the least we could tell them is we are not the same and the records would show both in Trinidad and Tobago that there is no other party that has contributed so significantly and consistently to building, nourishing and nurturing the people of our country, both in Trinidad and in Tobago. Look around. I could list what was developed and delivered to Tobago by the People's National Movement. As long as they try to force and foist Kamala and the UNC on you, ask them to list what the UNC had done for Tobago. I remember them promising us a, an integrated campus or University of Tobago. Where is that? That never happened. What we could remember is them cutting off Tobago from all the grants like self-help. And we had to wait until the People's National Movement regained power in 2015 to see those grants offered to Tobago. Once again, it is under this Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Keith Christopher Rowley, the one who they're trying to rally the people to hate, who has delivered the most to Tobago as it relates to Prime Minister, from administration to administration. This is our second term, and in his short time as Prime Minister, we got the two spanking new fast ferries, airport expansion project, the long-awaited and promised Hillsborough Dam project, finally delivered within budget and within time. Booster station improving water capacity and sustainability throughout Tobago East and Tobago West. My dear friend, my sister in service Ayana would speak to all that has taken place in Roxborough from the administrative building to the fire station to the police station. I would stay on the West, the Southwest Wastewater Treatment Project, the wells that were just delivered in Mary's Hill. The Signal Hill Pipeline project that was just completed, Cove Electricity Expansion, the NGC Gas Pipeline project. We lit Pigot Trace and Big Stick Gully in Bethel. We gave you the agricultural access roads for Tobago, agricultural grants for Tobago farmers, and they also get grants from the Division of Agriculture in Tobago. NEDCO grants for entrepreneurs here in Tobago, and they also get grants from BDU here in Tobago. Brothers and sisters, it's all about investing in Tobago. It's all a part of a larger national development agenda. It's about changing lives of Tobagonians for the better, empowering people, giving you choices and options, expanding opportunities for personal development and professional growth, promoting local and foreign direct investment. It's about Tobagonian dignity. It's about Tobagonian pride. So, so much as they try to rewrite history and perplex the intellect of our youth with their lies, the records will show, and those who care to know will make it their business to know. Those who care to read, those who care to ask questions, those who care to do their own research, those who care to think, to have a mind of their own, they will discover, and soon they will grow. But don't expect it to happen by chance, brothers and sisters, because there is an organized calculated and concerted campaign to keep you uninformed, to keep you angry, to keep you in fight mode, to make you feel like 
you have nothing in Tobago, that there is nothing to protect, nothing to look forward to, nothing to defend, to make you feel like you have no part to play in your own progress and that somebody else, somewhere in Trinidad or elsewhere, is responsible for stunting your growth. It's a sad, sad state of affairs indeed, all geared towards giving Fali a free pass to do as they please giving our resources to their UNC friends, harboring hate for the Prime Minister and the PNM, trying to win the favor of Kamala. When you speak up, when we speak up, all of a sudden, Tobagonians tired of hearing about politics and they fed up of Tobagonians fighting each other. But when Fali and friends are on a rampage, they are fully engaged and entertained. So everybody, must waste and weigh the PNM, and the PNM must keep quiet and take it in the name of peace. How fair is that? How does that build country? How does that improve Tobago? Tobagonians wake up. PNM might stand up. If we truly care for Tobago, we have to do our work just like we did when we walked the length and breadth of Tobago in the 1990s that led us to developing the Tobago Council in 1998 for the benefit and the progress of Tobagonians. We have to get down to doing our homework. We have to get out there and pull a brother, pull a sister, pull a tante, pull a co-worker, pull an end and do the work we have to educate, we have to connect, we have to lift, we have to liberate our people, we have to rescue, we have to resuscitate what little is left of Tobago but to sit, to watch, or to join them in playing dumb is just as bad as playing dead. Our leaders are taking advantage of us as a people. And we depend on them for leadership, brothers and sisters. Our leaders are taking us down a slippery slope, brothers and sisters. We cannot sit down and watch that and just allow it to slide by. Tobagonians, children, Tobagonian children are being taught to be disrespectful. Tobagonians are being trained to harbor hate to promote evil, to promote hypocrisy, to sell their dignity, to demonize those who are actually doing good, and to play blind, dumb, and deaf to their own detriment, and eventually, ultimately, to their own demise. Trevor Higher, plain, nobody sees, nobody knows, nobody cares. So do we what you want. Violate us, disrespect us as Tobagonians, as long as that disrespect and that violation is not coming from the PNM. As Tobagonians, how could that be good for Tobago? How could that be good for yourself? What are you teaching your children? What kind of values are you giving to your family and to your community? I want to know where are the independents? The, one who used to, the ones who used to blog on social media about accountability and transparency. Where are the mouthpieces for civil society? Who's going to air the issues on spot on? Everybody busy. Everybody sleeping. Some eating the food. Their mouth so full they can't talk. And some so shame they can't find their mouth. Under their stewardship, you're going down a slippery slope of no return. They made their deals with the devil and Tobagonians must pay. We can't sit down and watch that. They're giving, they're suffering Tobagonian contractors, not giving them work and when they give them work it's the smallest projects of all. Starving them for pay, not paying them on time and in some cases not paying them at all. Lying to us telling us that they didn't get the monies from central government. I want to tell you that the Tobago House of Assembly received their full allocation last year of up to about $2.5 billion. What did they do with that money? Which contractors were paid? How many Tobagonians received grants for their businesses? How many Tobagonian students got support to go to university? Which qualified hard-working Tobagonians were sent home? And which ones with no qualifications were paid fifteen, twenty-five, and thirty thousand dollars a month to blog and do the T TPP's dirty work? When they go from village to village playing face to face. 
to account to the people. These are the questions that we must make them answer. Brothers and sisters, they're campaigning about war. We don't want no war with them. We are a love party and we remain focused and committed and resolute to our commitment to continue to build and develop Tobago. We are not looking for war with anybody. Tobagonians are smarter than this TPT, TPP think they are. We see right through them, the writing is on the wall and we will not make the same mistake again. People are feeling the pain and seeing the injustice under their noses, but they are afraid to speak because they are petty. This TPP is petty and wicked and at the end of the day, nobody wants to lose their work. The writing is on the wall. Tobagonians know that this is not it. And I trust that when the time is right, they will do what they must. On the other hand, we remain focused. We are doing our work. From ministry to ministry, we continue to work with our partners in Tobago, delivering sports camps, grants to the sporting bodies, the community bodies, delivering Empower TT in Tobago, youth internship programs, the, the registry for companies, and so on, self-help and home improvement grant. We are building a nation. So this evening, I stand before you with a profound sense of pride as I fellowship with good company of right-thinking people and like-minded patriots, those who don't cover and those who will never give up. I'm comforted to know that all is not lost in Tobago and as gloomy and dismal as it may seem and as fed up and frustrated as you may be, be strong in your conviction that we have been here before and we will overcome again. This is my fight. This is your fight. Playing meek and mild would not help us and our generations will resent us for not doing our part. When you know better, brothers and sisters, it's on you to do better. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the good word calls on us to raise up a standard and raise up a standard we must. We are far from perfect, but certainly the most productive and progressive. If Tobago ever needed standard bearers to take their position, that time is now. The PNM remains that strong tower. The PNM remains a bastion of hope and a fortress in this fight to rescue and rebuild Tobago. Brothers and sisters, this is a clarion call for you, every single one of you, to get up, shake it off, whatever it is that's bothering you or have you worried, get out there and do the work. Nobody is going to save us. We have to save ourselves. And when we go from house to house and we do the work and we get everybody on board, victory is won and we have delivered to all the people of Tobago. We would come back here or huddle in some corner of Scarborough and we would sing, Great is the PNM. Great is the PNM. Great is the PNM. And we shall prevail. I thank you. Sober.